Japan is a beautiful and diverse country located in East Asia. Known for its rich history and culture, Japan offers a unique blend of traditional customs and modern technology. The country is also famous for its delicious food, including sushi and ramen, as well as its beautiful natural landscapes, such as Mount Fuji and the cherry blossoms in spring. Whether you're interested in history, culture, or just want to experience something new, Japan is a destination that should not be missed. However, there is darker side to Japan culture, particularly in relation to Aokigahara. Known as the Sea of Trees, this dense forest at the base of Mount Fuji has long been associated with death and ghosts. It's a place that has been shrouded in mystery for centuries, and it's not hard to understand why. Aokigahara, also known as the Sea of Trees, is a forest located at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan. The name at Akigara comes from the Japanese words ao meaning blue and kigahara meaning thicket of trees. Second alias that is more recently known and why we are focusing on this forest is the suicide forest. This is the sign posted at the front entrance. The rough translation says life is a precious thing given to us by our parents. One more time, let's calmly think about our parents, siblings, and children. Don't be troubled by yourself. Please confide in someone. At the bottom of the signs, there is the number of a suicide hotline. Historically, suicide was viewed as an honorable way of death. Military suicide has been one of the greatest honors since the times of the samurai. While with a nickname like Suicide Forest, it seems like Aokigahara Forest is a hugely popular suicide spot. It's actually not the biggest suicide destination in the world. The suicide forest is said to be the second most common destination for suicides. With the Golden Gate Bridge taking the number one spot, unsurprisingly, Aokigahara is reportedly haunted. The forest is reportedly inhabited by yurei, or ghosts with unfinished business who are unable to enjoy peace in the afterlife. People often report hearing blood curdling natural screams while wandering the forest. Another feature of the forest is that there have allegedly been literal ghost sightings, with visitors claiming to see white figures floating between the trees. But why has Aokigahara become such a popular suicide spot? There are different reasons behind this. In ancient times, Japanese families would bring their elderly and their sick, abandoning them in the unforgiving forest, lost forever in order to save food during times of famine. Japan's most famous writer, Saiko Matsumoto, commended the Aokigahara forest in his novel, Tower of Waves, in 1960, as the romanticized setting for suicide by a pair of young lovers. Since then, the forest started appearing in novels, movies, and even in dramas as a suicide site. The portrayal has been built up this way, and now Aokigahara stands with its dark reputation. The place is beautiful and mysterious. Not only will there be stunning nature views, but the atmosphere of intrigue adds onto the experience of the visit. This is a reality, and the Japanese people are working to put a stop to it. Volunteers leave encouraging messages and signs throughout the forests in an attempt to deter potential victims. They may also perform patrol duties to look for such people and then provide counseling services. Suicide is not a laughing matter. Do remember that the suicide forest is where many people have been hurt and whose families will always mourn them, and that you remain respectful in everything you think, say, or do there.